It's a white instant, costs one color, colorless and one white. Target creature gets plus two, plus two, and gains indestructible until end of turn. All right, okay. Vodalian Arcanist. Blue Merfolk Wizard, one three for one colorless and one blue. Tap, add one colorless mana to your mana pool. Spend it only to cast an instant or a sorcery spell. Okay, blue, you're gonna have a lot of those. Frenzied Rage, it's a red, red enchantment, aura, for one, one colorless, colorless, blah, blah, blah. one colorless and one red. Um, enchant creature, enchanted creature gets plus two, plus one, and has menace. Okay, all right. So menace is making. Uh, I mean, menace is. They've been pushing menace quite a bit over the last few blocks, but well, it's like I don't know. It seems like they're really giving it a big push. And it's it's a regular ability. It's not an, uh, an ability that just kind of you know pops up for a block and then goes away. It, it's a regular ability. Another Banalish Honor Guard. Lanawar Envoy. This is a green elf scout. 3-2 for two colorless and one green. For one colorless and one green, add one mana of any color. Now, I... As long as you're using non-land sources of mana to pay for that, I am totally down. Otherwise, it's not that great. Another Windgrace Acolyte. Another Gaius Protector. Dark Bargain. Okay. It's a black instant. Costs three colorless and one black. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put two of them into your hand and the other in, into your graveyard. Dark Bargain deals two damage to you. Um, I'm not sure two damage is worth two cards. All right, another Academy Journey Mage. Another Bailoff Gorger. Again, that opinion on uh, Dark Bargain is my opinion. That that's it. Oh, ooh, okay. All right, we got another Saga. Chainer's Torment. It's another black one. Costs three colorless and one black. First two tokens. Chainer's Torment deals two damage to each opponent, and you gain two life. All right. Third one, create an XX Black Nightmare Horror Creature token, where X is half your life total, rounded up. It deals X damage to you. <sighs> Screw you, dude. Screw you. And... I mean, there are ways around it. There are also ways, namely, gaining lots and lots of life. But anyways, another Goblin Barrage. <laughs> Curator's War. It's a... It is a blue enchantment aura that tar this target is a permanent. Costs two color colorless and one blue. And the enchanted permanent has hexproof. Next up is Evra, Halcyon Witness. Um, legendary white avatar. 4-4 four, four for Four colorless and two white. Uh, Evra has lifelink. And then for four colorless, you can exchange your life total with Evra with Evra Halcyon Witness's power. I can see the use of that for that. But it's really gonna be useful when if you've got Evra pumped up. So I mean, we'll see. I'm going to swamp and another sapphire. Sarah Disciple, or Polarian Scholar. Radiating Lightning. It's a red instant for three colorless and one red. Deals three damage to target player and one damage to each creature that player controls. Ooh. That's just a big middle finger to uh, swarm decks. Another Grow from the Ashes. Another Blessing of Bells Unlock. Another Run Amok. Another Gideon's Reproach. Yeah, that's a... I'm pretty sure we've got, we've 
come across getting to approach already. We had, I don't remember reading it up. Yeah, okay, we got it. We got it. Okay. Okay. Phallid Omnivore. This is a black fungus. 3-3 three, three for 3 colorless and 1 black. 1 colorless and sacrifice another creature. Phall that that. Phallid Omnivore gets plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. If a sapperling was sacrificed this way, you gain 2 life. Okay. Alright. I'm starting to see the, their, or the plant, how these work. Then we got our Jousting Lance. There's Sapperling Migration. Sentinel of the Pearl Trident. It's a blue Merfolk Soldier. 3-3 three, three for 4 colorless and 1 blue. Has Flash. When it enters the battlefield, enter uh, you may exile a target historic permanent you control. If you do, return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Okay. Alright. Uh, we got another untamed cavu. Uh, four elemental. It's a green elemental. Seven seven for five colorless and two green. You may have it assign its combat damage as though it weren't blocked. Oof, that's mean. Oh, snap. Squee the Immortal. Legendary Red Goblin. 2 1, 1 colorless, and 2 red. You may cast Squee the Immortal from your graveyard or, or from exile. <sighs> Man, you, you, you just can't get rid of Squee. We got another mountain and another sapling. Oh, okay. So the thing with legendaries, no, you can't get. It looks like you could all, the only way you're gonna get multiples of like a rare or mythic and a uh, booster now yeah, with this is if you got a foil. Um, I'm noticing I pulled a few of the legendaries that were rares and they are just you know. It's just the one, just the one rare in those boosters. All right, we got our GT Journey Mage, their Excavation Elephant, their Homeward Explorer, their G2 Lava Runner, their Adventurous Impulse, Soul Salvage, it's a black sorcery for two colorless and one black. Return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Oh man, that is awesome! Another Colored Overseer, another Short Sword, their Vicious Offering, their Tragic Poet, Skizik, the Red Elemental, 5 3, three color, for 3 colorless and 1 red. It's got a kicker of 1 red. You trample in haste. At the beginning of the end step, if it wasn't kicked, sacrifice it. Okay, it's kind of, it's kind of like Ball Lightning, but yeah, not. Diligent Excavator, when you cast a... I think we got that already. I'm pretty sure we do. Yep, there we go. All right. Then we've got Shalai, Voice of Plenty. White Legendary Angel, 3 4 for 3 colorless and 1 white. Flying, obviously. You, Planeswalkers you control, and other creatures you control have hexproof. I like her already. Then for 4 colorless and 2 green, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each creature you control. Okay. And there are, you don't necessarily have to be playing a white green deck to utilize her. You can utilize other, there are other ways to get mana, as I have stated before. Okay. And then we got Shanna, another Shanna, Sissé's Legacy. 
And a forest and an elemental. Okay, all right. Elemental token. Okay. Alrighty, kicking this off with another syncopate, another fire elemental, another dub, another dark bargain, another crossed druid, another gaze reproach, another solid omnivore, another jousting lance, yay, another sapling migration, another blink of an eye, spore swarm. It's a green instant, costs three color colorless and one green. Create three green sapling creature tokens. Interesting. We got Joyrus from no, next up we got Joyrus Familiar. It's an artifact creature, bird, costs four colorless, has flying, and historic cells you cast cost one colorless less to cast. Okay. And next up is Yogmoth's Vile Offering. It's a black legendary sorcery for four colorless and one black. Put up to one target creature or planeswalker card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. That's from a graveyard, not yours. A. Destroy up to one target creature or planeswalker. Exile Yogmoth's Vile Offering. Ooh. And next up we got Valda, Keeper of the Flame. Le legendary. Red Human Shaman, 3-2 for two colorless and one red. At the beginning of you know, combat on your turn, for each aura and equipment attached to Valda, Keeper of the Flame, create a 3-1 red elemental creature token with Trample and Haste. Egg all those tokens at the beginning of the next end step. Okay. Another island, another sapling token. Okay, we're choosing through the box. And yeah, freaking tablet needs to shut his mouth with a whore mouth. All right, another Bloodstone Goblin, another Book the Divine. Opt. Yeah, this popped. Up, I remember this popping up in uh, the uh, most uh, the recent uh, Ixalan block. Yeah. All right, so it's a blue instant. Cost one blue. Scry one, and then draw a card. means potentially you could basically you could you know scry your one and draw okay I'm gonna just put them back on the top of my deck of my library and draw a card another man of spider another run amok another blink of an eye another death bloom phallid another, another blood tallow candle okay another ancient animus another icy manipulator another spore swarm another guy's blessing Ooh, Rona, Disciple of Gix, shiny too. She is a, Rona is a legendary blue-black human artificer for a uh, 2-2 two -two for one colorless and one blue and one black. When Rona enters the battlefield, you may exile target historic card from your graveyard. You may cast non-land cards exile with Rona. You can also spend four colorless and tap Rona to exile the top card of your library. Okay, interesting. We got Marwin the Nurturer, green legendary green elf druid, one one for two colorless and one green. Whenever another elf enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on her. Okay, you can tap her to add an amount of green mana equal to her power. That can be so me. I love it. She's going in my elf deck. So going in the elf deck. Oh. And we got that nightmare horror now, too. Alrighty. Home stretch on the box. We still got the bundle and the two uh, Planeswalker decks to go. Hopefully, we'll get through them faster than the. Okay, we got a. I think we already have a. I'm pretty sure we pulled a new right, a new banalia already. Like 90, 
90 percent sure. I won't say 95. 90 percent though. 90 percent sure. Yeah. Yep. So okay, another night of nubinalia. Another deep freeze. There's Pros Prospector. There's Cabal Paladin. Another adventurous impulse. Another, divina another divination. Another short sword. Blessed Light. Okay. It's a white instant for four colorless and one white. Exile target creature or enchantment. All right. Another Kellen Overseer. Another Fire Fist Adept. Another Nature Spiral. Another Memorial to Glory. Ooh, we got Shiny G2 Chronicler. We got Grand Warlord Raida. Uh, legendary uh, Red Green Elf Warrior. 3 4 for two colorless, one red, and one green. Uh, Raida's got haste. Whenever one or more creatures you, you control attack, add that much mana in any combination of red or green. Until end of turn, you don't lose this mana as steps and phases end. Nice. Very nice. Another island and another sapperling. It's like a sapperling for days. All sapperlings, all day long. Okay, that really sounded lame. Like, seriously, I'd never do something like that in one of these videos again, because that was just stupid. Oh, okay, not stupid, just, like I said, we just freaking lame. Alright. Invoke, another invoke, invoke the divine. Another opt. Another G2 journey mage. Another soul salvage. Another mana spider. Another Gideon's reproach. Another Lenore elves. Another Thalet on the board. Another, another Skiddings? Skittering Surveyor. Another Academy Drake. A uh, non foil Academy Drake, at least. Another Elfheim Druid. Yeah, yeah. They're, oh, okay. Wild Onslaught. This is a green instant. Costs three colorless and one green. Has a kicker cost of four. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. If this spell is kicked, put two plus one, plus one counters on each creature you control instead. You know what, that, if you've got a lot of creatures out, that can totally be worth the eight mana. All right, Thran Temporal Gate, whoa, shit. Sorry, it's a story related kind of thing. This is a legendary artifact for, that costs four mana. Four mana, tap. Put a historic permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. Oof. And we got ourselves another slime for the stowaway. Another mountain and another knight. Not zombie knight, it's race knight. Like I said. Oh, sorry, I haven't slept in a while. All right, we got another, another excavation elephant. Another artificer's assistant. Keldon Warcaller. This is a red human warrior. 2-2 two, two for one colorless and one red. Whenever it attacks, put a lore counter on target saga you control. Okay, all right. I mean, it's not... The only downside is that means you're getting rid of it faster. You got another divest. Another land war scout. Okay, we got a Voltaic Servant. It's an artifact creature, construct. Uh, one, three for two colorless. At the beginning of your end step, untap target artifact. Okay. Another run amok. There's Gideon's Reproach. There's Thalid Omnivore. Another Jousting Lands. Cast Down. It's a black instant for one color colorless and one black. Destroy target non legendary creature. So I mentioned Kamigawa earlier, and I was thinking of I've been thinking about it. It's like you know I'm just realizing this is probably the first block in a while that has had such a uh, has been, made such a big deal about legendary creatures again. Uh, the Kamigawa block was 
Steet was very uh, inspired by uh, uh, I want to say by Asian fan uh, uh, lore and whatnot, and it was massively huge on legendary creatures. Like I, I, I'm pretty sure, like I don't know, half the creatures in the block at the very least were legendary. All right, moving on. But yeah, we got a whole bunch of legendary creatures in this in this block too so far. Okay, so next up, Juggernaut. It's an artifact creature, Juggernaut. Five three four for four colorless. It attacks each turn if able and can't be blocked by walls. Uh, ooh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Another and we got a sensor, another saga. Right of Bells and Lock. Okay. Two colorless, two black. Create two zero one black cleric creature tokens. That's for our. Uh, that's one and two. Then when we got a third, create a six six black demon creature token with flying, trample, and at the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice another creature. If you can't, this creature deals six damage to you. So kind of you, you kind of uh, get to create a, a light version of Lord of the Pit, if I remember correctly. That's kind of neat. Oh, and there's Slim Voda. Yeah. The planes and another sapling. Because what would, what would a loser of this set be without a sapling token, right? Oh, that felt good. All right, we got ourselves another radiating lightning. Or adamant will. Another Vodalian Arcanist. Another Frenzy Raid. Another Ar Arbor, Arbor Ar Armament. Another Stronghold Confessor. Another Rescue. Another Yav Yavamaya Safford. Another A A Acer Glider. Hmm. Neat. Another Rampaging Cyclops. Fight fire with fire. The ending is near. It's a red sorcery. Costs two colorless and one red. Has a kicker of five colorless and one red. Fight fire with fire deals five damage to target creature. If it was kicked, it deals ten damage divided as you choose among any number of targets instead. That's a great way to take out a swarm of like small creatures or like creature tokens. You're like, oh well, you got about fifteen. You got fifteen. Uh, Two two uh, to creature tokens. Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast five fire with fire. I kick it and boom, I'm gonna do uh, two to each of five. All right, yeah. I can, yeah. All right, spore crown thalid for each other creature you control. It's a function of sapper. But for each other creature you control, it's a function of sapper. It's plus one plus one. I think we looked at this already. It's a green fungus two two for one colorless and one green. We didn't. Oh well. Oh snap! I was trying to wonder if we get a Planeswalker out of this box. All right. Speaking of Planeswalkers, though, we've got Jaya Ballard, uh, who I mentioned earlier with the emblem that uh, she gets. Okay, so Jaya. Okay, here. Check that shit out, yo. All right. So. All right. She costs. She's a legendary planeswalker, Jaya. Um, planeswalkers have their own rules, kind of. Well, like any card, they have their own set, set of rules. Uh, planeswalkers now are just like with the legendary rule, as I, as I, and others who play in standard, in fact, have you know, pretty interpreted. You can now have basically, if they make another Jaya Ballard planeswalker card then you could have both one copy each of both of them out. But that's it. So anyways, they instead of having power and toughness, they have loyalty tokens or lo loyalty counters. When they get to zero, they go to the graveyard. 
and you and then they have loyalty abilities where you can add loyalty or subtract well, either add or subtract to uh, counters. So, all right, she costs two colorless and three red. Her loyalty abilities plus one loyalty. Add three. Add three red. Spend this this mana only to cast instant or sorcery spells. Okay. Add one counter. Discard up to three cards, then draw that many cards. Okay. Minus eight. You get an emblem with. You may cast instant and sorcery cards from your graveyard. If a card cast this way will be put into your graveyard, and exile it instead. Damn. And we got a non foil Rona. Another swamp and another sapling. I'm actually read. I'm kind of hoping we get to we get, end up pulling either a Karn or a Teferi. Or better yet, both. But on the plus side, we got Teferi. Uh, also, Chandra would be nice to pull too because Chandra's my girl. All right, we got so another arcane flight, another warlord's fury, another knight of Numenalia, another gift of growth, another Caligo swim skin witch, another Clavier sphinx, fire intervention. It's a red sorcery that costs four colorless and one red. Choose one. Fire intervention deals five damage to target creature or destroy target artifact. Okay. Another blood tile candle, demonic vigor. Okay. This is a black uh, in aura enchant or creature enchantment. Costs one black. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one. When enchanted creature dies, return that card to its owner's hand. Okay, all right. Um, I like that. I mean, yeah, it's the one holy strength, but you know, still, it's got it's got a perk. Well, Holy Street may uh, give you a plus two, plus one, but uh, that, uh, that gives you, I think, a better perk, really. Uh, we've got another Call of Cavalry. So I'm pretty sure we got that. Another Fight Fire with Fire. Another Urza's Tome. Another Wild Onslaught. Torgar, Famine Incarnate, a black legendary art avatar. 7 6 for six colorless and two black. As an additional cost to cast a spell, you may sacrifice any number of creatures. This spell costs two colorless less to cast for each creature sacrificed this way. So damn, if you sacrifice three creatures, boom, you're spending two black to put out a 7-6. When it enters the battlefield, up to one target player's light total becomes half their starting light total rounded down. So that means 10. That, oh, well, if you're, if you're losing, or if you're losing, that can, uh, that can definitely turn the tide. Uh, another forest and another sapling. That's just something you have to be careful with, though. You really gotta be careful with that. Because you don't want to, you don't want to basically be like, oh, hey, you're down to four life. Well, let me put you down. Let me put you back up to ten. That would just kind of suck. Okay, we got our Artificer's Assistant. They're killed on, killed on War Caller. Another Rat Colony. Another Corrosive Ooze. Another Car Cloud Rear Sphinx. Another Fire Intervention. Another Blood Tallow Candle. Another Demonic Vigor. Another Call the Cavalry. Another Ancient Animus. Uh, another Chain of Torment. Another Curator's Ward. Dread Shade. It's a black shade, 3-3 three, three for 3 black. Hey, 1 black. Dread Shade is plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn. Ooh. That could definitely be neat. And very handy, especially with, if you consider some of the past incarnations of, certain, of a certain black planeswalker. But now we've got Yargle. Glutton of Urborg. It's a legendary frog, black legendary frog spirit. 9 3 okay, for 4 colorless and 1 black. And that, that's it. Go on in. We got a swamp and a sapling. Alright. 
next up, we got another G2 Chronicler, another Dub, another Rat Colony, okay, another Arbor Armament, another Skittering Surveyor, another Primordial Worm, another Academy Drake, another, another Demonic Vigor, another Power Stone, Power Stone Shard, another Sheep and Fire, Wizard's Retort, this is a blue instant, costs one colorless and two blue. It, is, it costs one less to cast if you control a wizard. Counter target spell. Okay. All right. You can definitely see that being a wizard's retort. Uh, Howling Golem. It's an artifact creature. Golem. Two, three for three colorless. Whenever it attacks or blocks, each player draws a card. Okay, that's interesting. Primeval's Glorious Rebirth. This is a white black legendary sorcery that costs five colorless, one white, and one black. Return all legendary permanent cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Ooh. Ah, like it. And then we got Raph Capuchon, Ship's Mage. Uh, all another part of uh, Joyra's uh, Butterlight Crew. He's a Legendary white and blue human wizard. 3-3 three, three for two colorless, one white, and one blue. His flash, flying. And he make and you may cast historic spells as though they had flash. Okay. Another planes and another soldier. Up, we got another Adamant Will, notable Daily and Arcanist, another Syncopate, another Banalish Honor Guard, another Gift of Growth, another Lanamore Scout, another Stronghold Confessor, another Cross and Druid, another Blessed Light, another Yabamea Safford, another Champion of the Flame, another Board the Weatherlight. A non-foil territorial allosaurus. Okay. Another, another Arva the Cursed. Another plane and another sacrament. Well, that was that was kind of a bust, but eh, you know. It happens. Oopsie. Okay. We're gonna kick this one off with another deep freeze. Another Scared Prospector, another Gavin Crapper, another Grow from the Ashes, another Blessing of uh, Bells Unlock, another Thalid Omnivore, another Skittering Surveyor, another Academy Drake, another Seismic Shift, another Voltaic Servant, another Skizzic, another Salad, uh, Thalid Soothsayer. It's a black fungus, 2 3, for 3 colorless and 1 black. Two colorless to sacrifice a creature, draw a card. Okay. Daring Archaeologist. It's a white human artificer. 3-3 three, three for three colorless and one white. When it enters the battlefield, you may return target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. Whenever you cast a historic spell, put a plus one plus one counter on Daring, daring Archaeologist. Okay. All right. I can dig that. We got another Whisper, Blood Lit Liturgist. Another Swamp. And our soldier token. Oh, look at that. All right. Let's kick this one off with another Benelish Honor Guard. Another Artificer's Assistant, another Kelvin War Caller, another Knight of Numidalia, another Adventurous Impulse, another Soul Savage, another Kelvin Overseer, another Short Sword, another Vicious Offering, another Tragic Poet. Ah, the Memorial to Unity. Uh, the Memorial to Unity enters the battlefield tapped, like the other memorials. If we tap, add one green to your mana pool. You can spend two colorless, one green, tap it, and sacrifice it. 
Look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card from among them and put, put it in your hand. Then put the rest of them on the bottom of your library in a random order. Okay. Uh, I got another uh, Jafir and Void. Goblin Chain Whirler. The Red Goblin Warrior, 3-3 three, three for 3 red, has first strike. When it enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to each opponent and each creature and planeswalker they control. You know, I, I, I like to say that my goblin deck is complete, but I now know that it is, it is not. Okay, Denitha Capuchin, Paragon. White legendary human knight, 2-2 two, two for two colorless and one white. First strike, vigilance, lifelink. Aura and equipment spells you cast cost one colorless less to cast. Damn! Another mountain. And another night token. Yeah, if we get Karn or Chandra, it's probably going to be out of the fat pack. Or hell, even the fairy. I'm totally fine with that. Another Bloodstone Goblin, another Invoke the Divine, another Opt, another Land of War Scout. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Call me OCD if you want to argue. Yeah. Makes it a little bit easier. I don't want to have to end up accidentally. Not, I don't want to end up not accidentally knocking over one of the stacks. And, you know, making it and, and have to dig through and separate out the separate the, everything out by color again. At least my way. All right, another Cabal Paladin. Another Line of War Elves. Another Sparring Construct. Another Eviscerate. Another Unwind. Another Voltaic Servant, another Memorial to Unity, another Thalid Soothsayer. Two... <laughs> oh god, that's great. We got a Two-Headed Giant. Um, Alright, so Two-Headed Giant is a Red Giant Warrior. 4-4 four, four for two colorless and two red. Whenever it attacks, flip, flip two coins. If both coins come up heads, Two-Headed Giant gains double strike until end of turn. They both want tails, two headed giant gains menace until end of turn. Okay, now, the reason I laughed. Now, if you play magic, you already know this. If you don't, you probably don't. Two headed giant is a play format. It is a, the idea wherein you have, two, you have a team of at least two teams of two players. It's two headed giant. Um, as, a, as I recall, light totals are shared. It, yeah. Anyway, I could be wrong, though. But yeah, I just I think that's funny. That's all. All right, we got another Garn of the Blood Flame. Got another Plains and another Soldier. Okay. Last one. Another Cold Water Snapper, another Fervent Strike, another Starter at Arms, another Befuddle, another Corrosive Ooze, another Divest, another Rampaging Cyclops, another Rescue, another Blessed Light, another Yabamaya Safford. Ooh, okay, we have another Saga, the Eldest Reborn. It costs four colorless and one black. One lore counter. Each opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. Two lore counters. Each opponent discards a card. And three lore counters. Each target creature or planeswalker card from a gra put target creature or planeswalker card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Okay. All right. Ooh. Another saga. Triumph of Gerard. This one costs one colorless and one white. 
First two uh, lore counters. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control with the greatest power. Target, no, third counter. Target creature you control with the greatest power against flying, first strike, and lifelink until end of turn. Nice. Uh, again, there's Jalfir and Void. And the band, Deed of Iteration. Legend of Blue, Legendary Human Wizard. 2 1 for 1 colorless and 1 blue. If a wizard entered the battlefield under your control, causes a trigger ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. Okay, alright. Not my ideal for the, for the last one out of the, out of the, bo the box, but hey, you know, it's like the stone set. You can't always get what you want. And something tells me that is going to be the mantra for this. But hey, uh, now I gotta put all this trash. Spin down, yay. What? Red's my favorite color to play with. Uh, okay, here is our land pack. E basic lands. Okay, let's set those there. Player's guide. Quick start, quick reference guide. Assistant, another Keldon Lore Caller, another Knight of Numidalia, another Lanamor and Envoy, another Cal Caligo Skin Witch, another Ace Stair Glider, another Rampage Cyclops, another Rescue, another Blessed Light, another Chainer's Torment, Dampening Sphere, okay, it's an artifact, it costs two colorless. If a land is tapped for two or more mana, it produces colorless instead of any other type and amount, or one colorless instead of any other type and amount. Each spell a player casts costs one more, one colorless more to cast. Each other spell that player has cast this turn. Ooh. All right. Ooh, another saga. New saga. Follow the Thran. Five colorless, one white. One lore counter. Destroy all lands. Two and three lore. Two, two and then three lore counters. Each player returns two land cards from their graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. That's neat. I got our Baird, Steward of Argive, our Island, our Soldier. You know, I do this whole, I'm opening it all quick and dirty to make it faster. Another Opt. Their G2 Journey Mage, their Adventurous Impulse, and their Soul Salvage, their Navigator's Compass, their Cloud Reader Sphinx, Fiery Intervention, Blood Tallow Candle, Demonic Vigor, and Bolus's Clutches. Board the Weatherlight. Hinterland Harbor. It's a uh, this is a land and there's about a little tap lets you control forest for an island at tapped at either blue or, or green or blue. Okay. 
Then we got a shiny Waldalian Arcanist. And another Roth Capuchin. Ship's Mage. Another Planes and another Sapling. And I just realized that was the only job I was going to pull out of the box. Oh, god damn. Alright, G2 Lava Runner. Adamant Will. Another Opt. Another Divest. Another Grow from the Ashes. Another Voltaic Servant. Another Eviscerate. Another Partic Wanderer. Another Saffron Migration. Another Jousting Lance. Another Champion of the Flame. Another Diligent Excavator. Benelish Marshall. This is a White Human Knight. 3-3 three, three for 3 white. Other creatures you other creatures you control get plus 1, plus 1. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, I love that. Then another Grun, the Lonely King. Another Forest, then another Sack. Frenzied, another frenzied rank, another Bellish Honor Guard, another Syncopate, another Corrosive Ooze, another Divest, another Unwind, another Deathbloom Thalid, another Sheevan Fire, another Sparring Construct, another Gideon's Repro Reproach, another Goblin Warchief, Cast Down. Okay, yeah, I got that one already. Knight of Malice, okay. Oh. Or no, 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 Okay, so this is a uh, black human knight, 2-2, two, two, one colorless and one black. First strike, hexproof from white. Okay, yeah, there's the white one that has hexproof from black. And the knight of malice is plus one plus so as long as any player controls.